When I reviewed the tapes of Mona School of Business students making presentations on possible business ventures, at last November's Drone Duncan Foundation sponsored venture competition, I thought entrepreneurship among young people is alive and well at a time when it's badly needed. The students not only spoke of possible business ventures, four months later, they are actively trying to execute some of the ideas by forming companies. Tova Malka Trench Anderson, whose student group created an outfit called ProSan Environmental, gave an impressive account of how the group would possibly solve the customer service oriented ills of solid waste in Jamaica's large towns and cities. She backed this up with research. Now you may think that this situation is only confined to the domestic market, but I'm here to tell you that that is not so. As market research conducted in Western Jamaica has pointed out that the commercial segment is really dissatisfied with the current product offerings. Let's look at the hospitality and tourism sector. A typical hotel guest generates on average one kilogram of waste per day. In 2012, we have well over one million visitors to the resort towns of Negril and Montego Bay. And they spend on average 8.8 .8 nights. Now, it's not difficult for you to calculate the volume of waste that is generated just by this industry alone. Market research also indicated four major concerns that the clients have. Timeliness of collection. It's so bad to the point where they have to employ two waste collectors hoping one will turn up each week. Cleansiness of trucks, garbage collection workers. You've seen them, smelly trucks. Dirty trucks, leaky trucks. Customer service, the contract is signed, that's it. You never see your company again. Sanitation practices, before and after. We all know how garbage can break down, right? And they'll just come, pick your waste up, throw it in their trucks, and they'll leave. With all the, the leaky mess on the floor. Our feasibility study told us that 41% of the respondents changed their waste collection service provider in the last three years. 83% makes their purchasing decision based on quality and timing. 76% 76% change their, would change their waste provider if it would result in improved services. And it's because of this situation and the lack of proper waste management services in Western Jamaica why ProSan Environmental Solutions was conceptualized. We seek to become a limited liability company registered under the Companies Act of Jamaica providing quality waste management and environmental services. So what's ProSan Environmental's value proposition? In an environment where there are several outfits offering the same garbage collection services, what would make ProSans different and meaningful? Our value proposition, we're going more for same. And our value proposition is hinges on environmentally sustainable practices. Now in recent years, the tourism industry has been greening up their operations. However, not many of them have gone beyond just leaving a little sticker in the room to say reuse your towels and reuse your linens. But we're saying now to these hotels, if you're serious about environmental sustainability, you need to come to the pro. You need to come to us. We have, we, we give you free waste audits. We have compartmentalized containers that encourage waste separation and recycling. We use biodegradable, eco-friendly cleaners and we will get you well on the way to that coveted Green Globe certification that all hotels are seeking. We are customer focused and we have established service guarantees. The service guarantees sound impressive. We are concentrated on the provision of environmentally responsible, prompt, safe and efficient waste collection and disposal services, on-demand disposal solutions, we have additional trucks for this. 
We also have GPS tracking for our fleet. And we will sanitize all waste storage facilities with our eco-friendly cleaners. Mrs. Tova Malka Trench Anderson, representing ProSan Environmental, one of four entities making presentations at last November's venture competition among students at the Mona School of Business and Management. They have been talking the talk. Let's see how they implement their ideas, which all sounded good. As we continue to focus on young entrepreneurs, next week, we plan to look at how the judges assessed the various presentations, and in keeping with my mantra, I promise to follow them to see if talk and execution are merging. <laughs>